You should sing the doctor a song. Stars and moons and air balloons, fluffy clouds to the horizon. I'll wrap you in rainbows and rock you to sleep again. Teddy bears of pink, ducks and lambs of white. Don't you cry? Aren't you afraid any of the other doctors on Tumblr would see your Ask blog? I already told you. I doubt he'd really care to re- Wait, other doctors? It seems like you got your own doctor here. But how the other doctors out there, like Ask the Pony Doctor, Ask the Doctor Alonzi, Ask Doctor Hooves, or even do I dare suggest, yes I do dare, Ask Discord Hooves. What are you even talking about? There's only one doctor. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, hello. It must be Derby. Uh, the girl, uh, uh, Mayor, I keep hearing about. I'm the doctor. How are you doing today, Derby? So, uh, Ditsy, what do you think of Discord Doctor, uh, me? What? Uh, Derby, may I ask why you're crying? Did I do something wrong? What? Uh, don't lose hope, Miss Derby. We doctors have so many thoughts running through our heads, he may fancy you and not even know it himself. Drop him a hint. What? Oh, uh, excuse me, Miss Derpy. Have you seen a brownish tide as TARDIS? <laughs> what would you do if you were suddenly surrounded by many doctors at once? I think I peed. Wow. Bet you would be really jealous of me. You see, half of the doctors you've met I've kissed and made love to all of them. And you can't even get that one puny little doctor to love you. I feel sorry for you. If you need any advice for your doctor, I'm here for you. No, no, I'm not jealous at all. And you want to know why? Because I'm his companion. And that's more special than just getting a kiss or whatever. He could have chosen any pony in the universe to travel with him, and he chose me. I'm the one who feels sorry for you. You're so lonely that you need all those doctors to feel special. And I bet every one of them left in their blue boxes never to truly show you the wonders of the universe. I only need one doctor, and I don't need him to kiss me to be happy. I'm thankful that he calls me his friend. Wow! I really feel good about myself. I feel like I can face the world head on. Am I going to the party? <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa! If the doctor is with you, then how is he right next to me? I don't know anymore. Suddenly there are lots of doctors. Hello, Derby. Just wondering. Are happy to be in a world with too many doctors or prefer to be with yours? <laughs> All these doctors make me confused. I just want my doctor. Uh, 
ditty. Are, are you all right there? Hello, Miss Hooves. What was your greatest adventure with the Doctor fellow? Oh gosh, there's more of them! Make it stop! Make it stop! What if the Doctor told you he didn't like muffins anymore? Well, um, I don't know why he'd stop liking muffins, but I guess it'd be okay. I, I mean, he's welcome to have his own taste in food, I guess. What would you do if the Doctor really was a pony, but was given fake memories? Fake memories? I don't think that's likely. He has two hearts, and the TARDIS after all. But if it was true, I think it would hurt him the most. I'd be there to support him. Hey Derby, what would you do if the Doctor ever became discorded? Disco what? Discorded? What's that mean? Like, if he was given chicken feet and a monkey butt or something? That's just silly. You know, discorded hooves. Have you ever met discorded Doctor Who's before? If so, what are your thoughts on him? I ask because I know he does not like you very much. Have you already met Discorded Hooves? Who? I have no idea what you're talking about. What would you do if the doctor got really sick? Debbie, these blasted wings showed up again. Honestly, this is getting on my nerves. Ah! This is the third time this has happened! Hello, Derpy. Is it true that you have a crush on the doctor? You don't say! Quickly, shove muffins in his mouth. That'll work. <laughs> you have wings? Cool. Do you preen each other? What? No, that's really weird and kind of a private thing. You know, if you ever want to feel out the doctor's coat, you can always offer him a massage. Try massaging the doctor's wings to get rid of them. This is okay, though. Feeling better, doctor? Oh, much. Oh, my back always cramps when this happens. Ah, uh, maybe this time I'll keep the wings, though. Well, now. Looks like you'll have to give the doctors flying lessons. You might want to learn to control your wing boners for your own safety and dignity. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, dear. They, um, seem to be malfunctioning. Well, now that the doctor has wings, do you notice him having any puff moments? Th they won't fall down! D Derby! My wings are stuck! On second thought, we need to fix this. Now! Need to get rid of them before he discovers what pomping really means. Oh gosh. Wings out of nowhere. Residual regeneration energy causing glitches with this bona fide body, perhaps? Wow, you're smart. That's exactly what he said just a minute or so ago. Maybe you should just cut the wings off? His regeneration powers might fix his back back to normal. Oh, I know. A nice sharp blade is a good way to get rid of wings. Trust me on this one. I've tested my theory. No! I'm not going to hurt my doctor! Stop being meanie jerks to him! He didn't do anything to you! Quick! Use the TARDIS initiated time vortex jump back to the first sonic ray move event and have the doctor absorb the life separating radiation from the blast to stabilize his fluctuant DNA. How did they know about that? I have no idea. Are we getting questions from the future or something? Can the TARDIS do that? I don't think so. But you never know. Anyways, off to find the first sonic ray boom. <laughs> Miss Hoos, come out here and see this! While the TARDIS collects energy, we might as well get front row seats. It's so beautiful! So are you two gonna do some cuddly wuddlies under the light of the fireworks? Derpy, you're such a brave pony. You hide your feelings for him so well. Does it... Ever get super hard not to tell him? All the time. Every adventure, big or small, it's always harder and harder not to tell him. Uh, Derpy, unless my own eyes are tricking me, I think that Sonic Rainboom fixed your eyes. Have you noticed? Fixed? I don't think you understand how my eyes work. You see, my left eye is my good eye. I look at most things with it, and my right eye wanders other places. But if I concentrate really hard... Ta-da! Righty just likes to explore all over the place, but Lefty always listens to me. Wow. Now that Doctor has wings, don't you think he can open up more opportunities for you? Picture this. Him soaring with you among the clouds, flying in the moonlight with the grace of a dancer as your guise' love empowers you both. Then, resting upon a cloud, you see Luna's great moon above you. The doctor taking this 
wonderful opportunity to propose to you as the stars glisten in the background. Hey Derpy, now that Doctor has wings, for whatever reason, have you taken him for flying lessons yet? It would be a great way for you to have some quality one-on-one -on -one time with him. Oh wow, if we could fly together that would be the most romantic thing ever, but he did say he can't keep them because they might be dangerous because of chemical imbalance or whatever, but still that would be so cool, I wish he could use them. I rather like my wings. He should keep them, so he can be a good flyer, and if I may say so, <laughs> show off. I'm sad to say the poor doctor would never be able to fly with those wings. Let me explain why. Pegasi tend to be small and have very light bones to help them fly. The doctor's an earth pony and much bigger than an average male Pegasi. Earth ponies also have thicker bones. When he gets wings, they are the same size as small Pegasus wings and don't match up to his larger body. The wings aren't strong enough to carry his weight, so he can't fly. In order to fly, he would need a much bigger wingspan and very strong muscles in his wings. Not only that, but he would have to slim down and go through vigorous training. That's also why the princesses have such big wings. They carry traits of all three races, Unicorn, Earth, and Pegasus. Being part Earth, they need the big wings to fly. Even then, flying can be tiring, so they usually need flying carriages. I fully support you in the doctor's love. What you've done for both of our races has really been amazing. But think about it. If the doctor is having pomp moments around you, think about that for a second. Could he be getting attracted to you? No way! Did it work, Doc? Are the wings gone? If not, what's so bad about having Pegasus wings, aside from the pomp thing? Uh, yes, uh, they're gone, uh, and for the better. Too risky for uh, various reasons. Besides that, they, they'd just be useless anyways. Uh, his ears are blushy! <laughs> What's your reaction if Doctor has similar feelings like yours? How would you feel if the Doctor is in love with you? Oh, oh, don't be silly. I'm sure he wouldn't be interested in a mare like me. It, it would be really nice, though. What if the Doctor confessed his feelings to you? Wouldn't that be a nice surprise, huh? Derpy, what if the Doctor asked you to be a special sum pony? What would you do? Keep cool or just go crazy? P.S. You're awesome. G goodness, I really don't think he would, but but I'd b b be the happiest pony in the world. What would you do if he asked you to marry him and have his children? That would be the most amazing moment of my e entire life. What would you do if after all this time, and when you finally tell him, he doesn't feel the same way at all? Oh, that's fine. It's what I would expect to happen anyways. I'd still be happy just to be his friend, and I don't want to ever ruin our friendship. Miss Hooves, how would you react if the doctor was interested in some pony else? Uh, um, I don't know his choice. How would you feel if the doctor obtained another companion? One that he did fall in love with? I, I, I'd be sad, I guess. But, but if it makes him happy, I'll be okay. Derpy, if the Doctor suddenly fell in love with another mare, Twilight, how would you react, or what would you say to the mare? Well, I'd want them to be hap- Huh? Twilight? But- But he doesn't even know Twilight! Does he? Twi- who? Librarian? Ah, uh, not a very good name to be associated with books, if you ask me. Safe! Ever tried love magic? It may work. I'm an expert at love magic. Thanks, but no thanks. I think love itself should be magical enough. Well, hello there, Derby. I can help you with your situation. Being a timber wolf, I can make any wild and rare and sometimes dangerous to acquire plants to grow right before your eyes. If you want, I might be able to <clears throat> gather some of the uh, regions for a <clears throat> love potion. <clears throat> Here, Derby. Be careful with this, okay? Just put a few drops into the doctor's tea, and make sure you're the, you're the first pony he sees, okay? <laughs> I can't do something like that! I shouldn't force him to have fake feelings! I'm so bad for even thinking about it! I'm sorry, doctor! Do you by any chance know a filly by the name of Dinky? No, I don't think I remember a pony named Dinky. Should I? Have you ever introduced Dinky to the doctor? 
What does Dinky think of the doctor? Huh? Dear Ditsy Doo, your young filly Dinky Doo has excelled in all of her subjects and has been asked to join the school for talented unicorns. Huh? I, I don't have a filly. I'm still um the. A little birdie birdie told me you were pregnant. That true? But a bird that can talk lightly. What? I take it you're a virgin. So, are you going to wait for the doctor to come around, or are you going to take your first opportunity? Hey, hey, that's none of your business. Have you ever done anything naughty with the doctor? Of course not. I respect him. And if you had the chance, do you think you could bed with the doctor? Lady Hoots, I trust you plan on traditional Pegasus courtship once he is swayed. He may lack wings, but if you hold on tight enough, I'm sure he'll be fine. What happened? You had sex? Ah, I'm not ready. I can't. We haven't even kissed yet. Well, the doctor isn't your typical pony. He still has a body of one, and just as any healthy stallion out there, he also has a particular needs. Even if he didn't realize that yet, perhaps you could use it to your advantage. You could improvise and try to be ancient art of seduction, or simply ask another pony like Rarity for a little advice. Instinct can sometimes dominate the mind, unless, of course, Time Lords are immune to that kind of thing. Maybe you should try getting Doctor turned on, maybe, and then he'll notice you as something more of a companion. What? Don't be silly. That's really shallow and desperate, and I'm not that kind of mayor. Did you ever end up having the doctor look at your plot, or do you find a way to trick him to look at it? Well, maybe. Okay, maybe it wouldn't hurt to try just you know a little bit. D nothing too naughty though. You know, j just a little something for him to maybe notice and think I'm pretty or something. You know, it would be awesome. And by awesome, I mean super duper cute. Socks. Everybody loves the derpy in socks. That's a good idea. Socks are in style, after all. Why are these so hard to put on? <laughs> I've fallen and I can't get up! Quick, Doctor! Magically appear! Hey, Jeffy! I was thinking we could go- <gasps> You walked into him in a couple of embarrassing situations. But has the Doctor walked in on you on a personal situation? Derpy! I just saw you fall! Are you okay? Say something if you are. Oh my, Derpy, are you okay? You didn't hurt yourself too bad, did you? That was the stupidest thing I ever did. I'm going to hide in my room for a few days. Are you okay? No! That was so humiliating! Before going into hiding, go check what the doctor's face looks like now. Ditsy! Lass! You should make sure the doctor's okay. He might need some attention, Lass. No way! I'm too embarrassed! What's really so embarrassing about this, Derpy? You were planning to wear those socks in front of the doctor anyway, right? Just finish putting them on, and go talk to the doctor like nothing is out of the ordinary. No reason to abandon your plan. Oh, okay, you have a point. Doctor? Doctor, can you hear me? The doctor? Oh no, I think I broke him. Hmm, the doctor has now seen you exposed. How will this affect your relationship? Now that the doctor has seen you in socks, what do you think your chances of wooing him are? Zero percent. I think he's traumatized now. Okay, that didn't work. Why not try to do something fun, like sliding all over the TARDIS floor in socks, in a different quartet, quartet of socks, just to be on the safe side. Whee! Woohoo! Why is he in my room? Why 
don't you make sure the doctor's okay? OMG! Is he okay? Did the doctor hurt himself sign on the floor? Maybe you should see if he's alright. Um, doctor? Are you alright? Yeah! Perfectly fine. Never better. <laughs> Ask why he's in your room. It might be a good thing for you, Derpy. Try to make it work and you'll be fine, girl. <laughs> he won't be able to resist you and the socks. <laughs> Investigate the doctor's sudden appearance! Why is he in your room? I was just really curious about the whole socks thing, and you look like you were having so much fun! So, the doctor here is following your example and wearing socks too. This is it, Derpy! No need to feel embarrassed anymore. Just be cool and let the sock appeal do its job. Oh, um, yep, I sure do love sliding around in socks! <laughs> you got me! <laughs> I think the doctor wants to say something. Uh, oh, uh, also, it's... Uh, ab about earlier. Um, see, I was, uh... uh... Earlier? I'm doomed! Yes, earlier. I was trying to ask if you wanted to go to that Grand Galloping Gala event thing. I'm a bit curious about it. Hmm. How about you do something adorable with the socks with a really cute face the Doctor will forget about before? Well, they try. here, I suppose. Not like I was stuck or anything. At the gala, at the gala, with the doctor at the gala. Have you and the Doctor played any video games before? Dancy! Derpy, why are you so fat? I don't know, why'd your friend turn me into a toaster cozy? Apples suck dog bollocks. <laughs>